What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the 2000 plus subscriber special where I'm gonna just go straight down my comments list because I don't usually ever reply back and that's something I think I should start doing with 2000 subs. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go straight down. Uh, I started to do this and then I figured, shoot, I haven't commented back to a comment I think in maybe about three or four months. So maybe I should just do that for my 2000 plus subscriber special thing because I have nothing planned. I'm not a planner. I'm not a good planner at all. I'm a lot like the Joker, where I just do Durante things. Day Lopez says, let's dot go on Game Strategy Monopoly. Still my most popular video, over 200,000 views on that one. Uh, not uh, monetizable. <sighs> not monetizable. Every time I see that, I get a little sad because <laughs> Man, I could use the twenty dollars or so that it would have put a thumbs down in your channel. And then I replied, okay, I just thumbed up a video on yours. Cheers. He's got some nice channel videos of um somebody practicing hockey. So I thumbed it up because why be negative? Why have a negative Nancy here? Uh, Ming Chen also says that they won 10 times in a row. That's impeccable. I think when I retired undefeated, and I'm still retired undefeated, I think I was at 14-0. and 0. I'm not quite sure the stats on that, but I'm still undefeated. And I was, it, it was over 10 for sure, Ming Chen. Um, so yeah, good luck to you and your hockey practice. Hussein Ali says, how did you find the sweet spot when you're grabbing the belt? This was two weeks ago. I'm certain that he's mad at me for not replying because, I mean, I'm extremely late. I'm sorry, Hussein. I wiggled around the joystick. Uh, let's see, WWE GM mode. So on the PS2 DualShock controller, there's two joysticks. You use the right-handed one and you move it around until it rumbles. If it doesn't rumble, you have rumble off, and you probably need to turn that on. Or you don't have a DualShock 2 controller and you were playing on PC or something. I don't know, I'm not sure what you were playing this game on. Uh, it's, it's a PS2 game, it's very, very old. So I don't know how much more I can help you with that. Mm. Fletcher Brody says, why did you stop? GM mode, why did I stop? I didn't stop, I finished it. I'm pretty sure I finished it. Uh, when people keep asking to bring it back, I get very upset because it's just like, I, it wasn't very fun. At least not for me. I didn't enjoy it. Uh, video gaming is going away from story mode and into kind of a, an online multiplayer experience. And WWE needs to make that adjustment. Seriously, their online is horrible. So Fletcher, it's because I didn't like GM mode. Um, I struggle through GM mode every time I do a series on it. Eddie Clark, four weeks ago, I remember this one, says, Can I ask somebody who knows this game better? How on earth did King Ginger... That's not right. Uh, and also, I've upgraded my name since then. Do so well against Shang Fei. I don't get it. Well, Eddie Clark, let's see. Let's figure this out together. If you don't get it, we can figure it out as a community. Uh, so yeah, so when you join the ranks, they make you duel, and I had to go up against Shang Fei, which was frightening. He was 12 war points ahead of me. So, oh, King Ginger, there we go. Okay, that's why he said King Ginger. That's right. Um, I did that because most of the Asian names are usually situated like that. So here's what I did. Basically, I use Power Power, and then I reserve, and I get more energy. You can see my purple energy bar is way higher than his purple energy bar. And then I just go large counter, typically. And then you usually get like a special move if you do that combo. Um, so I'm gonna actually fast forward a bit. If you wanna go watch how I completely defeat Zhang Fei, go for it. But it keeps going and going and going and I chip away at him, little bit, little bit. And I'm out of energy, but he's so close to dying. So I just think I jab him a little bit more. He eventually gives up, we run out of turns. I survived against Zhang Fei. So you know what, maybe, uh, you know, 608 views and 8 likes. Wow, we might be seeing a return of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. When did this come out? I believe I did this last year. A year ago. That's not bad for a year. No dislikes and over 600 views. I actually quite like that, uh, like that feedback. We're learning things here. 
Okay, we're learning. Let's see what it says. Yo, I love your content, but I have a problem. I'm doing my career on WW2K16, and I want the Moon Stomp. Moon Stomp. Okay. As my finisher, but I can't equip it unless I purchase the Superstar moveset with the Moon Stomp. I bought the Neville and Rollins moveset, and neither of them have it. Can you help me find out what Superstar has the Moon Stomp? I don't know what the blue hell you're talking about. Um, that's not going, is it? Oh, good. Let's figure out what he's talking about. I don't know what a moon stomp is, so we're going to figure this out together. Moon stomp, a simple dance derived from earlier styles of reggae to associate with offbeat genres such as ska and dub. Is happening right now. What is this? Moon Stomp. That looks like the Bushwhackers. Um. This is the Moon Stomp? Oh, come on. You can't be serious. What is this? This is exactly what the Whip Nene and the Dab are going to look like in 50 years. This is incredible. Wow. Oh, we, we've gone down a rabbit hole that we probably should not have gone down. Um, that's fantastic. We'll like the video and move on. Moon Stomp. Okay. So, again, he wanted to find out what the Moon Stomp was and what wrestlers were able to do that move he purchased the superstar move set and everything this sounds more like a problem that wwe 2k um people might be able to help you with i looked up the moon stomp carl i looked it up uh it looked like a dance move to me i don't know of anybody who does that dance move maybe rick flair did it way back when uh before charlotte and all his other children and possibly bastards so, I looked it up. I still don't know of any wrestlers that do that move. Did you mean the curb stomp? If you mean the curb stomp, I think it's called the curb stomp. Moving on, Andy Crimson. Rain says, LOL, Star Wars Warriors. My life is complete. By the way, Jane Liao's joke weapon looks like dual lightsabers. Dual lightsabers. I don't remember Jane Liao's joke weapon. To be honest, the Dynasty Warriors games have gotten more and more ridiculous every year, and they ruin some of the uh, OG original gangsters, which means like Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, they ruin them uh, every year, a little bit differently every year. And yeah, I'm sure that they do look like joke weapons. Uh, thank you for the comment, Andy. Very well done. I, I will thumb it up, even, because uh, it's somebody likes that series. <laughs> Thank God. I loved that series, actually. That series was fun. If you didn't try it out, you should. It was very, very fun. Okay, Merrick United, I assume, says, I love this game. It's rare to find a game where you aren't the chosen one or some type of leader or important figure. For me, the idea of having the opinion or option to work your way up the ranks was the game's greatest selling feature. Download the emulator from ROM. Uh, CoolROMs.com. That's awesome. I don't know what an emulator is. I'm not a PC bro. Uh, I assume it's kind of like a Steam store. I know what a Steam store is. Thank you, Merrick, for the um, praise. Not only for the game, but for the tip of me getting the game at some time in the future. I won't have my PS2 feed on. Litvak says, congrats on 2K subs. Yes, well, this was a month ago, and I hit it, and then they purged YouTube, so I didn't hit it, and then I hit it again, and now we're kind of stuck at a 2012 level. I've always wanted to have the perfect amount of subscribers with what year it was so it's 2016 now i cannot wait until we have 2016 subs it's gonna be so nice it's like so perfect and then someone's gonna unsubscribe or subscribe and ruin my day nice ace gentleman says the get jail out of free card that must be a quote from something i said in the video uh he's probably right sometimes i do get that dyslexia mixed up uh, Fire O Purple says the main event ended with a finisher, so it wasn't a bad finish. Just thought you should know that a single leg running drop kick is one of Hideo's finishers. 
the other being the GTS. Okay, so yeah, it's such a weird venture. This happened again on SmackDown. He hit that move, and it looks like a weak move, and I might take it off of him, because this just kind of reminded me of it. But thank you, Purple of Fire, for bringing that up to my attention. Abed Almas says, Tatty Series? I don't know... I don't know what tatty means. Worn, shabby, poor condition, bad. Okay. <laughs> tatty series. He was talking about GM mode. Okay. I don't disagree. I actually don't like the GM mode series whenever I do them. I feel like they're just something kind of to give to those people who want GM mode and they seem to like it. I know I don't usually like them and I even say that in those videos. So, okay. That's fair. I'll bet. Joseph Brandy, or Joseph Brady, rather, says, 2958, you said going on about 30 minutes in the game here. You were just off by two seconds. Wow, it's like I don't have a clock or anything timing my videos. Weirdly enough, uh, we are at the 2958 mark of this video, which is very weird and x filey That's creepy, Joseph. That's creepy. I don't know what to say. Uh, Joseph Brady also says no one ever seems to have the English version of the game, which apparently is the original version of the game. Who knew? I didn't. I'm American. I, I don't know that type of stuff. I'm sorry, Joseph. Thanks for the comments anyways. Uh, Harley Pride. Motorcycle lover guy. On Strategy of Monopoly. Do they have this game for PC? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Maybe not this incarnation of it, but Monopoly's kind of a popular game. It's kind of a big deal in the board game world. Purple of Fire, again going here. Uh, wow, he's actually a pretty commentier commenter. Loving the new intro, you deserve more views than what you get. Having nearly 2,000 subs should give you at least 500 to 1,000 views. I don't understand why people bother subscribing if they're not going to watch your content, but you'll always have me. I'm not going anywhere. Keep up the great work, Vic. Even on the 23rd episode, which I don't like that number 23, it's kind of taboo. Uh, thank you, Purple of Fire, uh, whose name must be Victor or Vic somehow. Uh, thank you for your constant um, support and uh, Alexander Ferreira below as well. Thank you for that. And um, you're noticed. You are being noticed. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah, so basically he says I should have at least 500 to 1,000 viewers per thing. That's really not how it works. A lot of these people are children who don't either don't get to watch YouTube a whole lot, or they kind of just subscribe to everybody and then only watch one person. I'm guilty of doing the same thing, um, especially with WWE content creators. Goran Perkins, especially every single year, I will subscribe, or I'm subscribed all the time, and then I'll watch their series, and then when I kind of am indulged in real wrestling, or the, the product, I kind of phase out, and then I don't get back into it, because I, I don't want to miss anything, so I have to go all the way back, and then that's a lot of work to catch up on those videos, so I, I don't blame people for not watching, but yeah, 2,000 subs is awesome, you not going anywhere is also awesome, thank you for the praise. Alexander Ferreira says, I love the way you do this GM videos now. The fact that you put some highlights of the matches and you comment over it makes your videos more watchable. Love it. Keep it up. Thank you, Alexander. Um, yeah, there we go. I, oh, geez. Uh, I, I commented back and said, thank you, Alexander. Thank you for that. Um, yes, I think it's actually a perfect way to keep the video short and sweet, give everybody what they want, which is to see all of the matches and what happened. They don't want to miss out. And... Uh, it's, it's going very well, I think. I actually think it's going quite well. It's a good formula. It's a formula that I don't usually see anywhere quite the way I do it. And uh, I think that I, I'll be able to get some good um, traction this year with the 2K17 game. Gara of the Sand says, God, I wish the episodes with the Randy Orton and James Storm rivalry wasn't deleted. Best rivalry in WWE video game history. Thank you for that. I thought so too. I love that storyline that I had in that game. Mario's the boss says your subscribers probably didn't click on the video because people thought you're a Trump supporter. LOL. Also, uh, we love your videos. Subscribe to both channels. Who's we? 
you have more than one person. Thank you for that, Mario. Uh, yeah, Gift of the Gods Gaming Channel. So if you don't know, or if you didn't watch the last update video, I have this channel, which will be wrestling content and update videos like what we're watching now for the 2,000 plus subs. And then we have everything else on the other channel, which I'm thinking of doing another series very, very soon. And it's going to be great. Patrick Redman says, wonderful video, very instructional. Are you going to do another series this summer? This was poker. So, um, Patrick, actually, yes, I kind of did. Gift of the Gods Gaming Channel. Uh, if you happen to have been a subscriber, you'll see this, hopefully. Uh, the best since day one, which is a CM Punk Easter egg, I'm assuming. OMG, you are hilarious. They also said, nice vid. Just saw your Del Rio vs. Taker promo. I subbed. I love that promo. I really, really do, and it sucks that it's a copyrighted promo. But I really love making those promos. If I had more time in the day, I would make those promos more often. Um, but I usually don't have time in the day. Uh, maybe they'll come back for some stuff. Jose Prechado, I'm pretty sure that's Prechado, uh, says, Nice, can't wait to watch the rest of these videos. Sweet! Awesome! You won't be disappointed. I love how the series played out. I really did. I really did. Again, go watch that series. It was awesome. It was so fun to play. It was fun to edit. It was fun to watch at back. It was really, really fun, especially if you watched uh, the Star Wars movie. No one got my funny joke, because nobody watches Black Sails on Stars, which is a shame, you should watch it. Um, but yeah, Randy Orton hates you. This dude looks exactly like Randy Orton. In the TV show, he f sounds like Randy Orton. He act I'm surprised he didn't RKO another pirate, it was crazy. Chris, 12151000. WWE should hire Vince Gilligan. I love the Breaking Bad. It was a fantastic show. Walt and Jesse were the best main characters I've ever seen. So he talks about Breaking Bad. Yeah, it's the best TV show ever written. It, it is. It really is. Lucha Underground is the breaking bad of wrestling, though. Yeah, it was. This year was a little strange, but yeah, season one was excellent. And the beginning of season two was great, too. Uh, let's see. Purple Fire says John Cena versus Batista. I'd like to see full matches, so 18 to 30 minutes videos is what I prefer to watch. Yeah, Purple Fire. I'd love to see full matches of all five things, but... It just, it, it's not feasible. I can't talk for that long. I, even this video is going to have to be edited down for all of the crazy oh, stops and like stuff like what I just did. So, yeah, I can't really do that. And a lot of people can't. And also, you're a unique type of person. You're like me, where you do want to see all of the matches all the way played out. Most people don't. They don't have the attention span to. Many of my content viewers are millennials or post-millennials, and they do not have attention spans for 18 plus videos. So I try to keep them as small and concise as possible now. Look, we have Shelby Gaming five months ago saying this as well. Uh, I actually just subbed to um, Shelby Gaming. He says he's doing a new universe mode. So I subbed, and we're going to find out... Um, because it's, it's not easy. It's really not easy. And I always like to see what other people do. A lot of other people have a different idea. And if I can play with that idea, and if I can go, I like that, I didn't think of that, maybe I can do that idea as well. It's, it's a lot like copying. <laughs> but yeah, Shelby Gaming is, is doing something very uh, similar to the current brand Split, I believe, because his new video is called A New Era. So, yeah, Shelby, if you're watching, one of my big advices to you would be to maybe edit. Maybe edit. Figure out a way to edit. There, you're, you probably have a simple editing system on your computer. Um, if you don't and you recorded that like with a PS2 or something, I can't really, a PS4 or something, I can't help you. But you should probably cut out um, some of the stuff that doesn't matter so like thinking moments thinking words like um oh uh that would be my advice to you shelly gaming and i wish luck to you christopher fratter ray was the only one that looked real <laughs> thanks chris defer because i made all of those and i'm not a good call creator this was in the star wars uh empires game for my star wars characters i agree yeah but i mean i was working with like 12th century clothing okay Ray was the poor SOB in that movie who was wearing 12th century clothing, and that's the best I could do. Um, and they were Asian, so I couldn't really make a good Han Solo or Leia. 
Minos C, I hope three years after you posted this, you're a better player. Because in this game, you played terribly. I won, though, Minos C. I won. You don't know which areas are more frequently visited. You thought you lose money when dealing houses. You went out of jail when you shouldn't. You completely ignored New York Avenue, second most frequently visited area. David landed there all the time. You say your favorites are Boardwalk and Park Place, the least visited areas, and in the end, you only won by luck. Not once did you have to pay David. Nothing personal, let's see. But I just wasted an hour watching this, all because of your arrogant title. You're not good at Monopoly. I'll check your updated video now. Well, Minos, I'm not sure if you, uh, I, we, we just went through it, right? And, uh... I don't think that he commented again because I won three more games offline and then I played the second strategy of Monopoly. I think I'm 14 and 0, pal. I think I'm 14 and 0. Ah, look, once I get it, luck, you know, just by chance. Twice, that's a, that's kind of a, you know, that's, hmm, what's going on here? And then third, that's a pattern. I'm just good at Monopoly, my no C. I'm just good at Monopoly, I'm sorry. Uh, Alexander Jefferson says, only $62 paid in rent? I need some of that luck. And you're an awful player. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, Alexander. And screw you, Alexander. Respectively. Um, $62 in rent. Yeah, that's, it's about 352 short of what rent usually is now. You target greens. Moving on. See ya. They don't like my strategy. Well, you're playing it wrong way. Okay. This makes me want to play Monopoly, says Kyle6047. Stacy Marsh says, Seahawks and Cardinals. Wrong, Stacy. Wrong, Lagos Boy. The Real Z Knife says, Please do more. Okay, thank you, The Real Z Knife. Thank you, absolutely. I'll thumb that, that comment uh, up. Thank you. Luis Marcello says, No, you execute Wang Yi. I, I had to. I don't remember why, but I had to for some reason. Oh, that's right. Vivo64 clears it up. I'm not going to kill a woman. Five seconds later, execute the woman. Look, I said, here's what I said, okay? Here's what I said, and I'm actually, I'm, this is not good, because in my head, I'm doing the Trump finger thing that he always does. If you go look, just look up a Trump speech, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I said I'm not gonna kill a woman. I can't do the accent. I'm not gonna kill a woman. And then five seconds later, later I did. Um, basically, she told me, no, I'm not gonna join you. You're disgusting. I hate you. It was something extremely upsetting. So I killed her. I did. I did. Um, that wasn't very woman-like. She was being a little girl and she needed to be taught a lesson. I bet she didn't say no to me next time, did she? Let's, let's go to uh, Arlo's and then we'll wrap it up here. The AI players are extremely easy to beat simply because they don't understand the value of having a monopoly. They will sell you any property they have regardless of how it tips the game in your favor. Because of this, you can easily buy up anything they land on until you've got the board color locked. You have at least one of each. At that point, it's just a matter of slowly building your empire and strangling them. My last game in Monopoly Plus, I ended up with all 28 properties, all 32 houses, all 12 hotels, and about $4,000 in cash. That's basically my strategy. There we go. I mean, we've, we've revealed my game strategy, so you don't have to watch the whole hour video now. You can just look at Arlo's comment. That is basically what I did. Uh, what I would do is I would gather properties, as many as I could, and trade them with the other AI. The AI is not smart in many Monopoly games. If you oversell a property to get a Monopoly, so for instance, if I have two greens and Arlo has another green, but I've also got like four of the, the railroads and an electric company. I would give him all of those because of course, why wouldn't you trade one small green property for all four railroads and an electric company? It seems like a smart decision and it is, except it tips the game in my favor in the future. It's kind of like an equity buy. So I buy the green, I get my green monopoly and then I start building houses. He can have the railroads. The railroads don't do a whole lot, even when you have all four of them. Electric Company and Water Company are kind of garbage as well. They're kind of nifty things that I usually pick up to trade off later in the game. 
and that's exactly what I do. I get my green monopoly, and then I do not sell, or I'll sell my light blues and my my browns for cash, and eventually I win the game. That's exactly kind of how my strategy goes. So now you know my secret. Now you know what I do to win Monopoly, especially Monopoly Plus. So I think we've done some good work here. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be after I edit it, but uh, I think we've done some good work. 2,000 subscribers down, and there you go. Go play Monopoly, go win, now that you know the secret. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching this. Uh, I'm not sure if this was entertaining. Probably wasn't. But um, either way, Prophet God, formerly known as Ginger King, GG.